Welcome to the Get Your Mind Right podcast. Every day, I want to be the first voice inside of your head, the first voice that motivates you to move. I put out these powerful segments every single day because I know the truth. The truth is that when you change your mind, you change your life. So let me, Ryan Stuman, the hardcore closer, get your mind right. Let's talk about the differentiator. I know that's such a fancy word. But think about it. There's something that definitely differentiates you from everybody else. You see, our first day of launching this podcast, there were thousands of people who downloaded it and listened to it. I received hundreds of messages who said, wow, these messages changed my life. And they've continued on to listen all the way up to this episode so far. What differentiates those people from the people who look at my post and say, oh, here's another egotistical extension of Ryan or this stuff's not for me, or I don't need to get my mind right, I'm already successful with my $40,000 a year job and my failing marriage, right? What differentiates the people from the folks that made a shit ton of money in the dot-com bubble and the people that lost out? What differentiates the people between the people that made a shit ton of money in the real estate bubble and the people that lost everything in the subprime meltdown? I can tell you what differentiates the people, the way you think. You see, thinking shapes every area of your life. How you think about things, not how you feel, but how you think about things shapes every area of your life. If you think you can be, you can make money and be rich and that's the result that you're looking for, you can. If you think you deserve to be poor and miss out on things and getting taken advantage of, you will. It's all in your thinking. You see, the only difference between you and me and Bill Gates is Bill Gates thought and believed that he can make billions of dollars selling software when the rest of the world believed that he wasn't going to be nothing more than a nerd. You see, so today I want you to start thinking about where your thinking has led you so far and where what you should start thinking about for your future. Because here's what I know. Those of us who think differently receive different results than the masses. Those of us who think bigger receive bigger results than the masses. Those of us who think abundantly receive abundantly more than the masses. Why? Because the masses have what I call stinking thinking. They lowball think themselves. They think themselves out of things. Every day in sales, I talk to people and people say, well, I need to think about it. And I know this. I know if someone needs to think about making a decision that'll change their life that's been proven for eight years to work over and over and over again, then they're a victim. I also know that people are guaranteed more times than not to think themselves out of a good decision than to think themselves into a good decision because that's the thinking that they're used to. What's amazing is that most people are comfortable making bad decisions. Think about this for a second. We see people every day that get ripped off. They know that person was a scam artist. They know that that product wasn't too good to be true, but yet they do it every day because not because they fell for it and they th- and they thought that it could actually happen for them, but their thinking allowed them to think that they actually deserve to be ripped off and that they deserve to have something to complain about that was too good to be true for them. Their thinking is what got them there. People love making bad decisions. People love thinking low. People love playing small. And it's not about being the comfort zone. It's all tricks from the force of average to keep the regular everyday idiot from leveling up. It is. That's why taxes exist in the way that they are. They keep everyday idiots who pay the full amount of taxes, who don't hire professional CPAs, who don't go create side businesses, who don't figure out a way to pay less taxes the more money they make. That's the force of average in full effect in the form of our government taking from them so that the idiots don't take over. Think about this for a second. Your thinking, your life is a direct reflection. Where you're at in life right now is a direct reflection of your thinking. And so if you're not living on the level that you want to live on, if you're not playing big enough, all you have to do is think it in order for it to happen. Think it, do it, and ultimately be it. We say think, do, be. Think it, do it, and then ultimately be it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Change your thinking. Listen, if you enjoyed this episode, you know somebody who needs to change their thinking, somebody who needs to level up in their mindset, make sure you get this over to them. Go check out this life-changing, life-changing training at forceofaverage.com. Give me 37 minutes of your life, and I will change the way you think so that you can think bigger, play bigger, and ultimately win more. And so here's the deal. Last thing, make sure you share this on social media. Everything else, leave us a review over on iTunes, and we'll catch you on the next episode.